Hi. Today I am going to talk to you about one more thing that generally sabotages the results of EFT. And that is when people become highly impatient and obsessively attached to the results. Friends, when people understand the basic procedures of EFT and learn how to apply EFT, what happens is they get carried away with the one minute miracle phenomenon. They are normally told about how EFT works miraculously and at times in minutes. Taking this into their mind frame, they start applying EFT and start becoming highly impatient. They become obsessively attached to the results and they want to see results in minutes. In fact, they want to see miracles. But friends, at times this does not happen. And when this does not happen, they lose their belief, their faith in the entire procedure and stop doing EFT. If you see, the whole game is about applying charges to our issues. What charge do we apply to the issue? In fact, when we are tapping, taking into an issue into account, we are really very keen on dissolving the problem. We are very, very positively aligned to do it. But if you see the charge that we give to these issues, the charge many a time is of the anxiety to get rid of the problems. And this charge sabotages the results of EFT. Because we start doing EFT, though we are very, very positively tuned, though we are very, very enthusiastic in getting our issues solved, dissolved, we do it with a lot of impatience and anxiety because we want to get rid of our problems faster. But mind you, this particular charge often sabotages the effects. So I think we should use the principle of detached attachment. We should be detached while applying EFT to our problems. We should be very playful. We should be very soft. We should be very easy. So instead of keeping that one minute miracle in mind, instead of becoming very anxious, very impatient and very hard about the results, if we start becoming very, very playful about it, I think the results we would get would be miraculous. And this is one very big impediment that always destructively interferes with our application of EFT. So friends who have understood the basic procedures of EFT, the basic philosophy of EFT should keep it in mind that they should be very, very allowing, very, very open and very, very patient about it. All we need to do is to just tap and get rid of the emotional charge that we are giving to the issue. If we are fearful about it, we should tap and see that we get rid of that fear. So if we get rid of these emotional charges, that is what we are looking at. And I think if we can do that, then the whole universal matrix will take charge. It should be like sowing a seed. When we sow a seed, we know that the universal matrix will take over. We don't go the next day, dig it up and find out whether it is growing or not. We allow the universal energy to take over. In the same way, if we just keep on tapping and dissolving the charge, that is like just watering it every day, we would see 
miracles taking place because then we would allow the universal matrix to take over and this is what is very very important so friends if you are doing eft just keep it in mind that be very easy about it and not impatient keep on watching my videos because i'll come back with another secret which i think is very very innovative and very very important for efters to understand till then bye